Hey guys and welcome back for another really nice flashlight review. I got the Nightcore HC65 UHE which is a really nice flashlight in my eyes. It's a ultra high triple output metal headlamp. Really compact and nice design up to 2000 lumens. Comes in a nice cardboard box with already some info printed on. So we have primary white light, auxiliary white light, which will, will be probably warmer light. And then we have auxiliary red light, power indicators, USB-C charging mode, a button, button to power on the light, a button to switch the modes. That's always nice if it has more than one button. And then we have in the turbo up to 2000 lumens and the lowest mode of the primary white light will be 100 lumen. Maximum beam distance of 222 meters and maximum runtime 31 hours. So let's go ahead and open up the packaging. Comes with this really nice carrying pouch that's always cool if you get stuff like that and then here we have the light very smooth adjusting USB-C charging port still have the protective film on so we can take that one off We have one 4000 milliamp 18650 battery. This is the name that they give their batteries, capable up to discharge rate of 10 amps. We have a button at the inside of the head, and we have a special spring system here on this side. Really nice sturdy headband with silicon inserts so that it will not slip from a helmet. That's really nice. You can also take the head strap out of the front plate. Also really good. And then we got a band to attach to the light if you want to go running with it or so if you don't want it that it will be uh, wobbling around too much so you can easily attach it in the front and in the back you will just put it through this loop so that's a really good design in my eyes easy to remove easy to put on lots of people don't need it but if needed it's really good to have. And off it is. So now we have one spare O-ring, which I will not go to unpack. USB to USB-C or USB-C to USB-C cable. warranty card and the user manual in different languages. That's pretty much it. So if you take all that stuff out of the pouch, you will still have place for replacement batteries. That's good. And you can just put it in your backpack and it will always be protected. So we will have a closer look at the light itself so here we have the on but the on button the mode button we have some nicely executed engravings on the light and then we have a special tear lens with eight main auxiliary with eight main leds and then two auxiliary lights and probably two red lights so 
turn on the light by a long press. And then you can switch between the main light, the auxiliary light, which is warmer, and the red light, which is also coming out of the auxiliary LEDs. To get to the different output modes, it's the OM button that has to be used. So we will switch to the red light to show you. The one click onto the on and off button will go to the different modes. So we have low, high, blinking. And then with a the long press of the mode button, we can turn it off. Let's see if we turn it off like this, if it will turn on back in the red mode. No, it will not. So it has not no memory function between the different uh, special modes. Double click gets us to turbo. And then in the auxiliary mode, we have two modes. Double click gets us again to the main LEDs turbo mode. We go to the red. There, double click is not doing anything. And a long press to turn it off again. So it's quite interesting. I am really curious about the beam pattern outside because it has so many small tier lenses, it will be probably a very nice smooth uh, beam image. You can also just take the light out of this mount, so that's pretty cool. Then you can carry it around without the head strap if ever needed. So I had a quick look at the manual and uh, there's a few things that I have not told you yet. So here on the side we have the battery indicator, if you put press the mode button while the light is off, it will show you that the battery is full. So we have four bars. Um, we have the power indication, they say, so four constant on is 75 to 100%, three constant on, 50 to 75, two constant on, 25 to 50, and one constant on, zero to 25. So that means that you have to recharge the battery. If you want to recharge the battery via the headlight, uh, it's quite easy. You just plug it in and then the lights will continuously flash. And once the four lights are constantly on, it will uh, be fully charged. You have the possibility to access the turbo mode, as I told you, by double clicking when the light is on, but if you double click when the light is off, like I did now, you will go to the lowest mode first. So that's cool. So you access also the lowest mode and then you will stay in the white auxiliary mode. Long press off. On, double click for turbo, off, double click for ultra low. We can lock the light by pushing the two buttons for two seconds. Now it is locked, it will show with a blink. Unlock the same way. And you can also tail cap logout. So that's also a really good feature. I prefer that than the button pressing, but that's up to each one of you to decide what they prefer. So I will go through the different output modes with you and then we will charge the battery and head outside in the forest to check what it will perform in the dark. So I will just quickly go over it. So Turbo 2000 lumens, the lowest mode is 8 lumens. For me that could be a bit lower but uh, a lot of people don't need it. The red light on the low mode is 5, that's a pretty good amount. Ah, and then what I forgot is SOS and Beacon. 
if we double press the mode button in any status we will get a beacon or SOS mode so double click now we have the SOS mode and you once click on the on off button now we are in the beacon mode and then long press to go back so I will charge up the battery and then we will see each other outside Hey guys, I'm outside with the Nightcore H65 UHE in the highest output mode of the white light, so the main LEDs with 2000 lumen. I measured about 1890 lumen. It produces a very nice beam, really usable, also very good beam distance. Would be nice if they offered this in a neutral or warm light. Big fan of that. The light sits really comfortable on the hat. Here I am in the lowest mode with 100 lumen, which I measured with 80 lumen. Then we are at the 400 lumen mode, which already produces a lot of light. This is measured with 375 lumen. Then I have the 1300 lumen mode, which I measured with 1200 lumen. So also very accurate lumen indication. I will switch the mode to the auxiliary LEDs. We have the lowest mode with 8 lumen, which I also measured with 8 lumen. For me, they could insert a moon mode with less than 1 lumen, but this is already quite nice. And then we have the 40 lumen mode, which I measured with 43 lumen. And then we can go to the red LED, which is indicated with 5 lumen. I measured 7. We have the 15 lumen mode, which I measured with 22 lumen. And we have a blinking red mode. So you have everything you need in this compact size 18650 battery headlight. There's not a lot of negative things I can say about it, except that I would wish for neutral white all the way. For the rest, really, really nice light. It would be cool to maybe have one with 21700 for longer run times, but overall, I really like this headlight and I will for sure use it a lot and probably also often as a backup uh, if I go caving or underground because it's so lightweight and still quite powerful if you need to use it. So I hope in this video I answered all your questions. If not, please make sure to put them in the comment section. And as always, I would really like if you would subscribe to my channel and leave a thumbs up. See you soon, guys. Bye bye.